Hi, right, this video shows you how to do transient dynamics with base excitation in SimSolid. Okay, here's a model I have of a bridge, and it's about, oh, I would say just a little under 300 parts. And uh, I've already calculated the, uh, the modes, so I have, I have modes, and I have built constraints at the, the three foundations. And I have a constraint on the left, a constraint on the right, and one in the middle. So I have three different constraint conditions. And to do, when I did my dynamics, my setup, uh, I specified that I link to my modal analysis. Uh, I wanted a duration of one second, and I have uh, modal damping specified at 0 0.05, uh, I guess, for all modes. Okay, and then what, the next thing you have to do is you set up time functions. I set up three functions, and you'll see that each function is the same, but it's offset by a bit. So the idea is I want to add a half sine function to shape this space, wait a, wait a little bit of time, do another half sine function to shape this space, wait a little bit of time, and do a third thing. So let's model like a traveling load traveling down the, uh, down the structure. So you can see they're all the same uh, half sine function, but this one starts at zero seconds. Uh, the second one starts at 0.15 seconds. And the third one starts at um, 0 0.3 seconds. Okay, so the next thing I have to do is I have to specify my loads. Uh, and for the loads, I just need to specify base excitation. So I've got one defined already that says my constraint will be on the left support. I'll have an amplitude of one. And I will, in a direction of z, which is this direction, and it will be based on this time function 1, so the time function 1. I do a similar thing for 2, and then let's just create a third one for, let's just create a 1 from scratch. So I said let's create a new base excitation. I want to copy constraint for the right side there, down here. I want to make it based on displacement or accelerations, displacement. And I want to make it in Z, but I want to have this one time function 3. Okay? So that's all I got to do. I have my, uh, my setup complete. I have my time function and my base excitation forces. I just need to run it. Okay, there we go. Now we can look at this. So let's just uh, look at displacements in the Z. And I can animate this. So let's turn on uh, the uh, here, and this is a, this is a peak response. But if I just say animate, you see that it, it does start to shake this one. There's the base excitation there. Then it travels down here to the second one. And the same thing here to the third one. And, you know, I can also do, I can plot, so I can look at uh, the response, uh, I can look at it here, and you see that my load hits there and then stops. I can look at, say, for example, here, some more thing, the load is opposite direction and stops, and then the load here, same thing. And if, as I go up the model here, you can see that I have, you know, more of the effect from the, uh, from the flexibility of the, uh, of the system. So that's a quick way to do big sex citation uh, transient dynamics in some problems.